What happens when two behemoth Samsung smartphones go toe-to-toe? We're about to find out. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Smartphones are bigger than ever. When Samsung announced the original Galaxy Note, we were left scratching our heads, asking, why would anyone ever want a 5.3 inch phone? In fact, we were slightly confused when smartphones began exceeding the 4 inch threshold. Now it's rare to see a high-end smartphone with a display smaller than 4.5 inches. Enter Galaxy Mega, Samsung's latest smartphone brand that's built for giants, or people who simply want to use a phone two-handed. The Mega variant we have on hand is the Mega 6.3, which, as the name alludes, sports a giant 6.3-inch display across its face. Naturally, we have to compare this behemoth with what used to be the largest smartphone on the block, now the Mega 6.3's smaller sibling, the Galaxy Note 2. From the instant you look at either, you know they're Samsung smartphones. There's no denying their uncanny resemblance. And there's no deviation from Samsung's now standard design language at all. We're familiar with the Galaxy Note 2's build. It features last year's faux brushed metal design with a plastic chrome trim around the edges. The Galaxy Note 2 is practically a larger Galaxy S3 with slightly harder corners and different internals. And lest we forget the S Pen tucked in the lower right corner, the defining feature of the Note brand. The Galaxy Mega 6.3 towers over the Galaxy Note 2, but if you weren't looking too closely, you might mistake the Mega for the Note 2 and the Note 2 for a Galaxy S3 or S4. It's not exactly easy to portray how large the Mega truly is, so here's a size comparison from left to right. iPhone 5, Galaxy S3, HTC One, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy Mega 6.3, and the Galaxy Note 8.0. On the outside, the Mega more closely resembles this year's Galaxy S4. The edges are harder, the chrome doesn't blend into the edge of the device and instead gives the device a distinguished edge. And the pattern beneath the hyperglaze finish is the same dot pattern found on the S4. Around back it has the same camera hump as the S4, the same flash placement, and the same large speaker. Side by side, the difference in dimensions is tremendous. The Mega 6.3 is 16.5mm taller, 7.5mm wider, but 1.4mm thinner than the Note 2. It's also 16 grams heavier. The Note 2's 5.5-inch display makes it difficult, but still possible with some practice, to use one-handed. The Mega 6.3 is practically impossible to use one-handed, even with my large hands. There are also some pretty major differences between the two under the hood. The Galaxy Note 2 comes with a 1.6GHz quad-core Exynos chipset, 2GB of RAM, 16, 32, or 64GB of inbuilt storage with a microSD card slot, Wi-Fi BGN, and a 3100mAh battery. The Galaxy Mega 6.3 ships with either 8 or 16 gigabytes of storage, expandable up to 64 additional gigabytes by way of microSD, a 1.7 gigahertz dual-core Snapdragon 400 chipset, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, a 3200 milliamp hour battery, and an IR blaster. It also has Wi-Fi, BGN, and AC. Both come with 8 megapixel cameras, NFC, and LTE capabilities, though both are Note 2 and Mega 6.3 or HSPA Plus only models. Both devices, coated in Samsung's so-called hyperglaze finish, are also fingerprint magnets, and they're certainly lightweight for their size. Despite being so light, both devices feel fairly solid. And we can't finish the topic of hardware without addressing the display differences. At 6.3 inches diagonally, the Galaxy Mega's display carries a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels, mounting to 233 pixels per inch. The Galaxy Note 2 also features 720p resolution at 5.5 inches for a pixel density of 267 pixels per inch. The Note 2 uses Samsung's famed super-saturated Super AMOLED panel. Unlike other AMOLED panels, however, the Note 2 does not utilize the pentile matrix subpixel layout, making its relatively low pixel density more bearable. The Mega 6.3, for a change, does not use AMOLED. Like the Note 8.0, the Mega uses a TFT panel that's noticeably less vibrant and saturated than the Note 2's but it's certainly not dull, yet its blacks are not nearly as inky, and it offers wider viewing angles. The low PPI is offset by the lower DPI setting, which manages to squeeze more information on a single screen, rather than simply stretching more information across a larger display. In other words, interface elements display more tablet-like than with the Note 2. The Mega's display is noticeably brighter than the Note 2's, and although it isn't the most crisp display ever, there are a few things to complain about. Point blank, if you can deal with the Note 2's display, the Galaxy Mega 6.3's screen likely won't bother you either. Software is an area these two giant smartphones differ as much as they're alike. They're both running TouchWiz, but the Galaxy Note 2 is still running Android 4.1 with an older version of TouchWiz atop. 
while the Galaxy Mega 6.3 has Android 4.2.2 out of the gate with the latest version of TouchWiz. Comparing the software on these two devices, save for the S Pen features, is almost identical to comparing the current Galaxy S3 software with the walkthrough of the leaked 4.2.2 firmware last month. The software on the Mega 6.3 is similar to that of the S4 software, but it's lacking many of the S4's buzzy features like Smart Scroll, Smart Pause, Air Gesture, S Health, and more. However, it does allow Air View with your finger, Smart Stay, Lock Screen widgets, and the updated quick settings in the notification shade. Many of these features are also on the Note 2, AirView using the S Pen and Smart Stay, for example. Being extra large devices, both also offer one handed operation settings and the multi window feature. And oddly enough, the Mega 6.3 does not offer smart rotation while the Note 2 does. Outside the changes brought in the 4.2 version of TouchWiz and the Note 2's S Pen specific software, the wares on these two devices are quite similar though. They have the same icons and widgets, TouchWiz looks the same as it always does, and there's no denying you're using a Samsung smartphone running Samsung software. In day-to-day -day operation, both the Note 2 and the Mega 6.3 are pretty snappy. Yes, even on the Mega 6.3's dual-core Snapdragon 400 chipset. In fact, the Snapdragon 400 is no slouch. The Mega 6.3 clocked at 1.7GHz versus the Note 2's 1.6GHz is just a bit snappier when returning home, opening apps, switching apps, and pretty much all lightweight tasks and both of them seem to handle gaming quite well. Running synthetic benchmarks tells a different story, however. In Antutu, the Galaxy Note 2 ran circles around the Mega 6.3, consistently scoring over 17,000, while the Mega scored in the 11,000 range every time. The two were closer using the Quadrant Standard Test, both averaging around 6,600. And in Geekbench 2, the Galaxy Note 2 scored over 2,000 every time, while the Mega 6.3 hung around 1,600. As per usual with TouchWiz, there are some small instances of lag here and there. And thanks to S-Voice, there is a constant hesitation when pressing the home button, but that can be disabled in S-Voice settings. We haven't really had the Mega 6.3 long enough to talk too much about battery life, but there are some quantitative means of at least roughly guesstimating how battery life will be. The Galaxy Note 2 has a 3100 mAh battery and a large display. It usually manages to last all day through some heavy abuse with relative ease. The Mega has a 3200mAh battery, but a much larger display and a more efficient Snapdragon 400 chipset. At the very worst, the battery life might be shorter than the Note 2's, but we imagine they will both be in the same ballpark, about a day's usage. The Note 2 and Galaxy Mega 6.3 both come with LTE connectivity, but both of our units are HSPA Plus only, and both are running on AT&T's HSPA Plus network in the Charlotte metro area. The Galaxy Note 2 averaged just over 5.2 megabits per second down and 1.1 megabits per second up. The Mega 6.3 averaged 6.6 .6 megabits per second down and 1.5 megabits per second up. The Mega proves to offer faster speeds, but negligibly slow. Considering both Samsung devices have 8 megapixel cameras, we were hoping the differences between the two would be very slight. In fact, since the Mega is running a newer version, we hoped it might be even a little better and would include all the S4's camera features. Unfortunately, this is not the case. The camera software is missing pretty much all of the Galaxy S4's new camera features, such as drama shot and dual camera. It does use the newer, cleaner interface, but as far as software goes, it has little more than the Galaxy Note 2. The camera apps only look different. And the output from each is definitely anything but disappointing, but the Galaxy Note 2 seemed to handle various scenarios a little better. Both were pretty poor at low light performance, offering images full of noise and artifacts, but in well-lit scenes, the cameras performed on par with one another providing the same balanced tones and rich colors. Where the Note 2 managed to edge out the Mega 6.3 is exposure. The Mega was quick to overexpose and blow out whites. It's also worth mentioning the Mega 6.3, like the S4, comes set to a 16-9 shooting mode out of the box. Instead of being set to 8 megapixels as advertised, it's set to 6 megapixels and crops vertical pixels to give the illusion of a wider shot. Of course, this can be changed in the settings. Both the Galaxy Mega 6.3 and the Galaxy Note 2 will be too large for comfort for most users. They are, without a doubt, gigantic phones. But for those willing to carry a smartphone which rides the line between phone and tablet, both are great options. Despite the differences in specifications, the two devices are on a fairly level playing field. If you can come to grips with using the Note 2, a primarily two-handed device, the jump to a 6.3-inch phone, as absurd as it may seem, is not all that difficult. If you're even considering the Galaxy Mega 6.3 or Galaxy Note 2, both are worth checking out in person. But true power users may want to err on the side of the Note 2 with more RAM, two more processing cores, and the S Pen.
That's going to do it for this comparison. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this one in the future. Keep it locked on the YouTube channel and on the site to see more Galaxy Mega 6.3 coverage later this week and into the beginning of next week. Follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time.